You know, welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Tuesday yesterday. Today is Wednesday, June 9th, 2021, and it is day four. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to settle in and recognize today. Today is, of course, the last day of school for all of you, and I just want to tell you before we move on just how proud I am of every single one of you boys and girls. You guys have put in so much grit and perseverance into what might have been a challenging year and yet you guys made so many gains in reading and math and science and social studies but even more importantly you guys have become much more intentional as human beings you know you are recognizing that there are a lot of blessings around us some of you guys have really practiced and started becoming you know building a habit of breathing and just arriving right that's readiness you guys are working on the three b's you guys are becoming really good human being you guys always have been great but you guys are taking it to the next level and i just want to say before we even move on just how proud i am of you now let's arrive at this moment because the summer is waiting for us in just a few hours and we have had quite a year and we may reflect and there's a time and it's always a good t good thing to do to reflect on the year we had but right now, give yourself the gift of the present moment. I, I kind of think it's cool that we call it the present moment. It's, it is a present. It's a gift. Look around. Use your eyes. Find something. Find something interesting. And just look at it. Study it. Study its shape, its colors. Maybe it's just one color. Maybe it's got shadows. Maybe it's got a shiny part to it. Study it. Notice those blessings around you. Use your ears now. Listen and observe. What are, you, what are you hearing? What are you noticing? You know, I think these are the things that are really important for us to really allow ourselves to soak in, to, to really enjoy, right? And finally, use your skin and what do you feel? Oh, I forgot. Same thing with our nose. What are you noticing with your sense of smell? Okay, now. Same challenge as yesterday, and that is this. I'm going to give you two minutes, you and me, two minutes. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to kick off with one bell, a chime. It'll lead us into two minutes where we will quietly just notice everything around us and then close our eyes, notice what is within us, and think about our feelings. And then after two minutes, you'll have a bell that, it, that will ring. And when the bell kind of fades out, then we can open our eyes and we can continue with our morning announcements. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Get yourself settled. Notice how your body is being pulled down to earth. Notice the chair holding you up. If your feet are on the floor, notice how the floor is holding your feet up. And um, get yourself in a nice position and let's go ahead and begin.
Welcome to your new day right here at the fort, where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can go ahead and take a seat. I am so glad and thankful that so many of you guys, you know, kind of took on, took on this breathing challenge with us. Two minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but then when you have to sit there and notice everything, it may feel like a really long time. Yesterday, I talked to some of our kindergartners and first graders, and I asked them, who took up on the challenge to be quiet and just be awake to this moment? And so many of our kids said that they tried their best. And a lot of them actually said they didn't actually, they weren't successful with meeting that challenge. And that's okay. This mindfulness and the breathing takes practice. After you get to two minutes, maybe you can get to five. You can get to five, maybe you get to 10 minutes, right? And when you come out of it, if you are truly savoring the blessings, you're going to be really awake. And that's kind of neat too. Now, when we talk about the rest of today, I'm also talking about the rest of the summer. There are three Bs. Be respectful to yourself as well as to others. Show integrity. Do the right things even when nobody else is looking. That's here in school. That's also wherever you end up doing, uh, going and whatever you end up doing uh, over the summer. Same thing with being responsible. Okay. Uh, certainly today there are 300 kids who are making a story and when we go home at the end of the day some of us are going to have someone asking you or me or anybody what kind of day they had and well you're going to be a character in some of these stories and I hope that you have chosen to be a hero in those stories and that includes the summer the summer you know at the very end of the day some of us are going to uh, at the end of the summer when we come back from uh, come back to school uh, you're going to have teachers who are going to ask you about what kind of summer you had. And you know what? Some of us are going to be characters in each other's summer experiences. I hope you choose to be heroes. And finally, show that you're ready. Ready for the day. And yes, also ready for the summer. Ready to do the right things even when nobody else is looking. Practicing that integrity. So, last but not least, before we sign off for the very last time with the morning announcements, I want you to hear something that... Every kid deserves to hear from somebody who loves them, and that is this. I love you, and I like you just the way you are. I challenge you. We have a half day today. Go find somebody. Tell them that you love them and that you like them just the way they are. And then this summer, here's the ultimate challenge. Find somebody every single day that you appreciate. Tell them thank you. And then also tell them that you love them as a human being, and you like them just the way they are. I can't wait to see you guys around today. I can't wait to hear about your, su your summers. And for most of you guys, I can't wait to see you guys next year. Have a great day.